Okay, good evening guys. Uh, welcome to an impromptu Simon 2040 plays some Magic the Gathering Arena. I got my new webcam set up and I thought, why not? Let's have a quick look at what it looks like. Uh, this evening I'm going to be playing uh, my Teema Adventures list. Um, this is just an overview of how many decks I've been trying out recently post the Teferi ban. Um, there's a couple of a couple of gems in here, but tonight we're going to look at Teema Competitive. Um, there's really only one way to build the main board for Teema Adventures. Um, it's Four Lucky Clover, that's the engine of the deck. Um, and then things that have adventures, so Edgewall Innkeeper gives you uh, gives you value off your adventure cards when you resolve them. Fae lets us get things out of our sideboard, which becomes our wish board. Uh, Four Borrower. Four Burn Crusher, four Lovestruck Beast, four Escape to the Wild. That is proper gas in the mid to late game. That just gives you so much card advantage. Uh, four Beanstalk for incredible ramp. Um, Ugin for something to spend that ramp on. And then a fairly standard Adventures um, land layout. I haven't got all the wild cards to get all the land I want, so I've put some Fable Bastards in to, to bulk it out. Um, sideboards are where you get to be a little bit more creative with adventures, but even that's fairly stock. Um, Mystic Repeal, Ether Gust, a couple of counters. I'm trying Tormod's Crypt um, as my answer to Uru and other Graveyard strategies. Um, it's worked so far, it's worked okay. Uh, I'm not seeing an awful lot of Uru decks because Ban now isn't a thing. Um, but he still exists, he's still a very good card, so we've got some Tormod scripts to answer that cheaply. Um, Fling lets us throw... so Beanstalk, if you don't know the card, his power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control, uh, and he costs 7 mana, so he's at least going to be a 7-7, he's regularly much, much bigger than that. Um, so Fling just lets us throw 14-15 damage at their face um, to win games outright. You can also, as I realised recently, um, use Expansion Explosion to copy Fling while it's on the stack and only have to sack the one creature. So you can Fling your 10-10 Beanstalk Giant, Expansion the Fling, and you get 20 damage off that cast. That's, um, that's a really nice way to win a game. Uh, Return to Nature, Standard Artifact Enchantment Hate, uh, Domri's Ambush, you are playing big creatures, that's just some removal for you. Um, Spyglass shuts down their Ugins. Uh, Ashiok Dream Render I threw in here before Tormod's Crypt, really. He does the same job. Um, I actually haven't wished for him at all. So that is a slot I could probably change out, but haven't. Um, Storm's Wrath is... I'm going to drop that now and put in a second Storm's Wrath. Storm's Wrath is our board clearing. Um, a spare Ugin. I've got one in the main board and one in the wish board, so I can get him one of each of the ways, and Mass Manipulation is um, such a really nice finisher against big mid-range creature decks, or control decks, or whatever, because you're just going to take all of their things, all of their good stuff, it's going to be yours. Um, but that is the list. We're going to play some best of ones this evening. Um, the sideboard is just a wishboard, so you're running the same main deck every game to best of one and best of three is it's the same for this deck. In best of three they have more chance to tailor their sideboard against you so you're better in best of one. But it, it can win best of three, it really really can. Um, I just prefer at the moment quicker games. So standard ranked, let's give it a go. On to the next one. don't love this hand, but I am going to keep it. And I may regret keeping it. We are against Yurion. So we some form of control. Drop that in tap. We're pretty good against the control matchup. Um, they like games going long. We sort of start to snowball. Oh, we don't like Kite Self Freeboot though. Non creature, non land, that's Escape to the Wild's Gone. And then I'm going to find it. 
That will be fine. He can't take our adventure cards because they're creatures. He can counter them though. I probably should have killed him in my own end step. He's probably got a counter spell. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll put that on top. Now, if he had a counter, he would have counted. Resolve something, you can tap and sack them both, cut bones into a recurring creature, and just remove what I play. So, I'll land with tap to the last time. I'll probably bounce the priest. Okay, okay. Gonna take the three. Hope you resolve something worth bouncing in a second main. Okay, just he's put your in his hand. Okay, so let's put priest back in his hand. Um, let's shock in breeding. Four in a row. 